Welcome guys, very excited about this one today. As you can see, we've got a little package here. Uh, we've got Fragile on, it says live animals. And what we've got inside are some ants. And this is from Ants HQ. Just trying to be gentle, because as we've pointed out a couple of times now, there's ants in here. Um, so I'm gonna open it up and also just say a little bit about what I've done so far in terms of ants. So a couple of years ago, I bought one of them, My Living World Ant Farms, and to be honest, I had a lot of trouble with it. I had trouble getting the ants in there. I did buy ants in a test tube, but then it comes with a little clear pot, which I will try and put a picture on screen so you can see, and it's hard to get them into there. And then, first time breeding ants, didn't really know what I was doing. I tried to watch videos and I still struggled, but I basically ended up trying to put a bit of food in the enclosure bit where the sand is to encourage them to go in which turned mouldy, had to try and get that out, and it just it just didn't go well. Um, after a couple of years, the ants started dwindling down, the queen wasn't doing much, um, I think I was impatient. There's just a lot of going wrong um, going on, if I'm being honest. So we're going to start again with a new setup um, and see how we get on. So discover, well, dis yeah, discover the world of ants. Welcome to the ant keeping revolution. Um, so we're getting started. You've just received your ants. We're opening the box. Um, yeah, so let it get to room temperature for 6-12 to hours, which is good because this actually became, uh, came in the post earlier on today and I've been to work since. Inspect the queen upon arrival. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have a look at the queen, but then I'm going to put a safe for a few days. Just because obviously she's been in the post, she's been bumped around, um, just want to get her settled in. So what have we got here? We've got, looks like some long tweezers and a little pipette in there and some cotton buds a lot of these little noodles so we will just get them out of the way so that's usually where i just tip the box up but with there being a queen ant in here wasn't really ideal so we have a little gentle look the queen ant should be in here we'll um, just check that in a minute put her down very gently we've got Little order sheet there. Another little bag of some goodies. We've got a Allen key, a little syringe sort of thing, a little jelly, I think some food test tube adapter there by the looks of it. And I think that's some something you put around the edge to stop the ants climbing out. More goodies. What is this? Okay. Oh, some nectar solution for the ants. Nice. More little noodles in the box, but then I think that's everything. Yep. So then we've got the little ant enclosure itself. It's a little diddy one, which I quite like the look of, so we'll open it up. Right, here it is. So it's a nice little doody enclosure. We've got the lid here. Um, it looks, if you're looking at the minute thinking it's very light cloudy, it's actually all got protective film on, so we'll peel all that off in a minute. But we've got the top here, which is like the outer world. Um, it has already got like a bit of loose sand in there. It's kind of stuck down a bit, but some of it is a little bit loose, so it's dropping out at the minute, which isn't a problem. Um, we've got this bottom compartment, which obviously they can access through that hole there. This is hopefully where they will build the nest, and the queen will spend most of her time. And it does come with this little red screen which mimics it still being dark for the, the ants so you can still look and it won't disturb them too much. This is what I really liked about it. Um, you can attach your test tube directly from this side to save you trying to faff around tipping them in. Or with the other ant, um, ant farm I had, I had to try and scoop them out individually with a, a brush and be very delicate which was hard to do. And we've also got this little bit here which I believe that's what the blunt syringe is for, because this little pad at the bottom, if you can see that, it's like a moisture station, make sure the right amount of moisture is in the nest for the ants. Um, it has actually got the clear one first, so I think you screw that on, and then this one just pops on the top, because obviously there's a hole there at the minute, we don't want them escaping. So I'll get all these um, protective films peeled off, and then we'll have a little bit of a, a better look, so I can show you how clear it is. There we are then guys, very very happy with that. I'll just take the lid off so I don't um, drop it on the floor when I'm showing you. As you can see it's very very nice and clear. We've got the Ants HQ branding on the side. And then underneath, more sun's going to fall out but we'll deal with that. Oh, 
Yep, there it goes. Um, that's the little tank has on the back. So on the back here, um, you can use your syringe to push some water in and it all kind of fills up this little reservoir at the bottom and also keeps the moisture nice for the ants. So you've got your test tube entrance there. I believe this on the back, hopefully that will come out. It's filled in at the minute, um, but I believe that can be another little entrance. Um, I'm assuming you just have to push a little hole in the back there. And you can obviously add more of these on by like little tubes if you'd like. Um, and then we've put the clear screen on now. And as I say, you'd literally just pop that over the top. So it mimics the fact that it's nice and dark for the ants and you don't disturb them too much when you're having a nosy. Because let's be honest, if you're going to keep ants, you're going to want to keep looking, aren't you? So I think now what we'll do is we'll check on the queen. There she is then, there's Queenie. Um, just want to point out, this is the laziest Niger um, species of ant, which here in the UK is like your common garden ant. So she's in there with two workers and some eggs. She's had a bumpy few days though. She's been packaged, she's been in the post, and then even getting, um, getting her out the bubble wrap was a bit of a faff. So I'm going to wrap her up now, and the, well, the test tube, in some foil and pop it in a cupboard for at least a week before attaching it to the ant farm itself. Um, any advice for me, guys, please, please pop it in the comments because I really want to do it right this time. And I also want to make this a bit of a series where I can regularly upload and keep updated with how they're getting on. As you can see, we've got a queen ant, two workers and some eggs. So let's hope this grows over the next few videos. As I say, in the next video, I'm going to attempt to attach the test tube to the ant farm itself. So if it's something you want to see, please like and um, subscribe to follow along. And I will hopefully catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys.